Sounding. It's doing nothing yet. <laughs> oh, I heard something else then. Oh, three as well. Got it. Just sitting on that bait. So big hat day today. <laughs> so the big hat's out. It's sunny today, guys. Beautiful day. It's going to be about 28, 29 degrees. 40 degrees in Melbourne tomorrow, they're talking, Chris. Wow, that's escalated. Yeah, so not sure what this is yet. Once again, I'm King George Whiting. Flavor of the day. Yeah. Absolutely doing nothing. Small gummy. Swimming up on the tide, that's my big. Got some weight, but still doing absolutely nothing. Here we go. Shock leader. We've got a bean jar. Put that in. Oh, the gummy. Gummy. Right, oh, no. we'll let this one go. Grab him, Chris. Man, oh. these strong little things, aren't they? Ah, uh, little boots. Second. The weed. So I hooked him on the outside. There you go. He's just way hooking him. Oh no, give the camera a look at that one, Chris. So yeah. De weed his face. Yeah, cute little gummy. We'll throw him back. He can grow a bit bigger so one of you guys can catch him later. Throw him back, Chris. Let him go. Oh. No, no. So always release those fish healthily. Let them go. Let them grow bigger. Yeah, it's on. All right, Chris is on again. <coughs> what are you calling it for, Chris? Heavy. Heavy. It could be a flat fish or oh, a big gummy. All right. You're gonna have to come around the motor, I think, mate. And over the GoPro. Over the GoPro. Yep. Yep. Go. That's a shark, mate. Might be that? out the back here. They just jumped out the back. Yep. Gonna angle this GoPro right up and see if we can see it out there. Whatever it is, he's right out on the surface at the moment out here. You just got hit. Which one? This one? Second. He might have picked up that rod. I don't know, well up. Is it an eagle ray or is it a shark? Whoa! It's nah, it's on the surface. Yeah. I don't think it's an eagle ray. I think we get rid of a couple of these rods. We'll see soon enough. I don't think the camera up here is going to pick it up, but right out the back out here. Chris has got a shark swimming on the surface. Could be a uh, hammer. Or bronzy. Off that, do, yeah, mostly. Right, so he's going to get some other rods in. Last thing you want when you've got a big fish on like this is a heap of rods in the water. Particularly braid on braid. Okay, Chris, that fish is coming over here. Yeah. See if you can come over me and we lead him no, get over. Got under me. See if you can lead him out that side. Number two, there we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of these rods. Oh no. We had the similar here the other day, me and Johnny. And we had a fish do this and we lost it. He sounded again, so. Oh. He sounded again. Who? The fish. Gone back down. Oh, down. Bottom, yeah. He said sounded. That's what I meant. It sounded down. Oh, okay. Okay. So just cruising up the current now, Chris? Yep. Well, we'll just go from back down. Yep. We're dealing with a lot of weed here today. It's given us a bit of grief. We're mid-tide at the moment, so tide's roaring. We've got 14, 16, 20 ounces of lead out there. And um, a lot of weed too, so it's a bit painful today. Here we go, Chris. We're going to colour soon. Okay. Wow. And then when you see your shock leader up, you've got five metres. Yeah, that's none higher than that. Yeah. No. Right. 
with the downhill going. You know, I'm pretty confident it's a shark, it's just cruising. Interesting it came to the surface. Remember we had that snapper a few weeks ago? Yes, we caught it for an eagle race. Yep, yeah, we caught a big Seven, snapper here. 7.2 kilo. Yep. Got a quick one first. Uh, nah. Yeah, Old man's getting soft, I think. Asking for us. A cushion there, mate. Oh, <laughs> good. I know. Move forward to the gunnel, see if we can get him out under the boat a bit. I don't want him under the boat. Avoid it. Just cruising, isn't he? Not much we can do at the moment. This fish is just down deep. Just try and do a little little thump of wines when he stops running. See if we can just turn his head to get his head to come back up. Even if we don't boat this fish, I'd like to see what it is. Just put a bit more drag on it, see if we can turn this head. Good rod. Oh yeah, these Atomic Arrow offshores, they're a brilliant rod, a lot of power. Getting a bit more on him. Yeah. yeah, keep going on him. Got him turned, there's little pump of wines. Even if it's only a yo, half a wine at a time, we're getting winning. So what I've got Chris doing now is just little short pumps. You know, no good getting into a stale mate with him. Every time you drop the line, even if it's only one wind of that reel, that can be half a metre to a metre of line. Before you know it, you'll have the fish on the surface. You, when he's got his head down in that current, you've just got to slowly work that fish up. We're just trying to plane him up in the current at the moment. And it's important not to lift your rod too high at this stage. That's what you call high stick. When you start getting up here above 45 degrees and the fish takes a lunge, it will snap a rod. No matter how good the rod is, you'll break your rod. Coming up. If this is an eagle ray, we're not going to be happy. So there we go, it's going to go to the back. Alright, see if I can get him on the camera out the side. There it is out here. Throwing away the larger shark, I thought. It's a shark. I hope it's not a seven gill. Yeah, we're we'll getting close. Oh, we won't get it from here. You can just see him out here. That's a bronzy, Chris. It's a good bronzy. Do you want to try and take him home, mate, or are we going to let him go? Why? It's probably only about 40. Probably a good size to take. I've got some gaps. Well, if you can slip it off, there we are, right? See you. Quick to deal with this fish, though. Come and Pete. There we go. No, he's not. <laughs> We're just deciding whether we're going to try and get this fish. I'd like to um, take this bronzy if we can. It's probably a good size bronzy to take, so... If I do get him up here, Chris, and we get a gap in him, yep. then rod and three spool, grab the other second gap and help me. Hopefully the camera's going to pick it up underwater. 
boat, you just drop a wine. Just take our time, we'll get in. Obviously the Gamagatu circle in a corner of the mouth. Bergenoster. Is it a Bronzy? It's got a wine, isn't it? Ah, it's a Bronzy. Oh, this whole area is good, mate. This is. Well, everybody, we've had a pretty good day in the water, I'd say, don't you reckon, Chris? Yeah, pretty good for the time of year. Yeah, what was the highlight of the day for you, mate? Oh, mate, bronzy for sure. Yeah, nice so thing. big bronzy, wasn't it? Yeah, hurl So, as you see, guys, we've had a pretty good day. We've got a nice snapper, uh, we've got three gummy sharks, a feed of flatties, and of course, the big bronzy, Chris, got that thing was about 80 kilos. Biggest fish I've caught. So, how what more could you ask for? Look at the conditions. We've had glamour conditions. We've caught a feed of fish. We've had a great catch up. Good lead off to the end of the year. It is. So, we really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this show as much as we've enjoyed making it and bringing it to you. And we look forward to seeing you again shortly. Hope you're enjoying the shows, guys. See you soon. Cheers. Tie line.